Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about LinkedIn and how to avoid those scams and other bad things that can happen on LinkedIn. Now, why is this happening? Well, believe it or not, out of all of the social media websites out there, LinkedIn is one of the more trusted websites. The good thing about LinkedIn, as opposed to some of the other social media sites, is that you don't get all of the junk and chaos that can go on. There's hardly any baby pictures on LinkedIn. You don't get political posts on LinkedIn. And for the most part, a lot of the content that is on LinkedIn is pretty straightforward as far as B2B posts, recruiters looking for potential hires, and it's just an overall safe environment until recently. Now, cyber criminals are always looking for new ways to get access to your information. And unfortunately, the social media platform of LinkedIn is the next step as far as where criminals are going to take advantage of people. So there are several things that you need to look out for on LinkedIn, and we'll go through those so that you can make sure that you are safe and secure. Now, one of the first things that criminals are taking advantage of is the sales navigator tool that is included with premium LinkedIn accounts. Now, if you've got a free LinkedIn account, you don't necessarily have to worry about this particular scam. But with the sales navigator scam or LinkedIn or how criminals are taking advantage of the sales navigator is that the sales navigator is an awesome tool that allows you to connect with people on LinkedIn. It allows you to bypass the standard email uh, situation. Well, I shouldn't say situation, but standard email. And you can send files and links through the sales navigator and it immediately connects you with people, both people that you know and people that you're getting to know. One of the key features of a premium LinkedIn account is that you can send email messages directly to people, whereas through the free LinkedIn, then you can just use LinkedIn Messenger to connect with people. So the problem with the sales navigator feature in LinkedIn is the fact that it doesn't have or currently doesn't have a tool that is able to scan malicious links or malicious files. Your standard email programs will automatically scan for a malicious file. So let's say that you're using a Yahoo account, a Gmail account, or just your standard email account through your domain, those web hosts or email hosts are able to do a quick scan to make sure that the email that you're getting is legitimate and isn't scammy. When it comes to scam emails in your standard email platform, they know who the bad actors are when it comes to email and they're able to sort out links to scammy websites and of course to scan particular files, that could be a problem. Also your antivirus does a decent job of that too if you download uh, a malicious file to your computer. But the sales navigator when it was designed was to give people a direct access to other people and files and to allow people to collaborate a little better. Let's say you're a recruiter looking for a potential hire. You could send them information, brochures, and PDF format links to uh, application sites, and it just works all well together. But criminals have figured out a way to get past this on the sales navigator. So what you need to do with the sales navigator is, for starters, make sure that you know who you're dealing with before you accept any file. I've always mentioned in all of my tech tips that 99, about 99% of cybercrime requires user interaction. And if you're clicking on links and downloading files, you're definitely inviting danger into your computer or your devices. So buyer beware when you look on the link on these files. Now that's not to say that you need to downgrade from a LinkedIn premium account to just a standard free account. It means that you just have to be a little bit vigilant on LinkedIn Whereas you didn't have to be or do before because LinkedIn is pretty much a safe platform as, as to not worry about some of the bad things that occur on other social media platforms. But unfortunately, a lot of that is starting to spill over 
into LinkedIn. So some of the other things that you have to worry about on LinkedIn, like you would other social media accounts, are unfortunately fake accounts. That's a pretty funny graphic. But fake accounts are starting to become a little bit more prevalent on LinkedIn. Now the good thing about LinkedIn, it's pretty easy to spot a fake account because if you pay attention to a LinkedIn account, you can look and see how many connections someone has. Now on social media uh, sites like Facebook and Twitter and oh, we'll say Instagram too, you can glance and see. But the key thing with LinkedIn is that most people that are active are going to be 500 plus. And if you notice LinkedIn accounts that have a low connection rate, it's a good possibility that it's a fake account. Other things that you want to look out for too on LinkedIn is the fact that a LinkedIn account may not have a banner. And I can show you here quickly by bringing up my LinkedIn account. It's taken a few seconds, isn't it? So anyway, let's bring up my LinkedIn account and kind of give you an idea of some of the things that you need to look for to see if it's fake. Switching screens, things you want to look at is the number of connections. 500 plus is a good number to go with. Number of followers, it's kind of it's a large number. But anyway, the banner should be filled out and you need to have a professional profile picture. Now, if you're on LinkedIn, in order to make your account look less fake, you need to fill out those features and get that taken care of and make it look like a complete account so that people will interact with you on a regular basis. But overall, when you're looking at a real account versus a fake account, it needs to look like somebody's home. And that's probably one of the important things when you're accepting requests on LinkedIn from specific accounts. Pay attention and make sure that it's a legitimate account. Next thing you have to worry about, and this is unfortunate with all social media platforms, but phishing. And as you can see, LinkedIn is now included in that list of sites that or social media sites that you have to worry about phishing attempts. And they can come in all different ways, but I think the most common way on LinkedIn is from recruiters. If you're a job seeker on LinkedIn and someone sends you a link, it's or a message, you want to make sure that it's legitimate. Most recruiters will reach out without links offering jobs or they may send you to a bogus website. And you have to watch out for the fact that some of these messages that come through to you on LinkedIn in your inbox may look like they're coming from legitimate companies. So any message that you're getting on LinkedIn, beware and make sure that you verify that it's taking you to a legitimate site as opposed to one that is fake, which leads us into our next tip, which is beware of fake job requests. Again, it may be a fake account reaching out to you for a job offer. It may be coming through on LinkedIn Messenger. Beware, go directly to the company's website if they are actually hiring, rather than trusting a message that is popping through on LinkedIn. Yes, I know it's a different step or another step in the process, but it's better to be safe than sorry than to risk your computer or your other devices getting infected with ransomware and some of the other nasty viruses that are out on the market. Uh, other thing that you need to watch out for, and this can occur on Sales Navigator as well, is that you may get a message from someone that takes you to a site that wants you to fill out your personal information and give money, which is a no-no on LinkedIn, even through the Sales Navigator app. One other thing we have to worry about the Sales Navigator is that it gives criminals a little bit more information about your LinkedIn profile that they wouldn't get from standard messaging. So beware when you're on the Sales Navigator and watch out for those fake job requests. Now, this kind of goes along the scheme of what is going on, but beware of tech support schemes on LinkedIn. Yes, it could be LinkedIn watching out saying that there's a problem with your account and they need your login information. Your guard may be down because again, LinkedIn is one of those sites you just don't have to worry about nonsense. But unfortunately, criminals are starting to notice that 
people are easily scammed on LinkedIn as opposed to other social media sites. Now, what are some other things that you can do to make sure that your LinkedIn account is safe? I will bring up my LinkedIn account and show you other ways to secure your account because like other social media platforms, if you get locked out of your LinkedIn account, you may be in a world of hurt and you may be in big trouble. So let's take a look at some of the things. I'll bring up my LinkedIn profile again and show you how to secure that LinkedIn account. Now we'll warn you that my LinkedIn account currently isn't completely secure, but trust me at the end of this video, it will be. So let me get back to my main LinkedIn page. Let's go to our desktop and take a look at my LinkedIn profile. Now, to secure your account, the first thing you wanna do is not click on work. Let's get on that. You wanna click on the icon that says me right here. Once you're there, you want to go to settings and privacy. That will take you to a section on LinkedIn that gives you different things that you can to do to your profile, but the most important is sign in and security. Once we're in sign in and security, you can show what email address you access your account, any phone numbers that you want to do. If you haven't changed your LinkedIn password in a long time, you want to go through and change your LinkedIn password. Since we're looking at this screen, you can also see where you're signed in on LinkedIn. So if you're worried, that someone may be accessing your LinkedIn account, where you're signed in will definitely give you an idea where your account signed in. So if you're currently in Cleveland, but your account shows that you're logged in into New Jersey, there may be a problem and a criminal has access to your LinkedIn profile. So you can go into where you're signed in. Let me verify this before we do into it. And you can go in and see where you've been signed in. I've been signed into Kansas City where I am, IP addresses, was in Florida a few days ago. So it definitely gives you an idea where you've been and you can end these sessions just to make sure that if you're in an unknown or if your LinkedIn shows up, you logged into an unknown city, you can log out of those. Uh, you can log out of that to ensure that some stranger isn't logged into your LinkedIn account. Also, there's a feature where you can look at devices that remember your password. Currently, I have none, but this is under Remember Devices, and I recommend that you don't remember your password other than your password manager. Now, finally, with LinkedIn, you can turn on two-step verification or authentication. This works when you log into LinkedIn. It'll send you requests via an authenticator app or text messaging to ensure that you're the person authorized to sign into the account. What will happen sometimes with social media accounts and other online accounts, criminals may get access to your password because again, you probably haven't changed your LinkedIn password since forever. <laughs> so with two-step authentication or two-factor authentication, you have to verify twice that you're logging into that LinkedIn account and doing so adds an extra layer of protection to your account so that criminals have a hard time accessing your stuff. Quick tips for you or those of you that are LinkedIn using LinkedIn to ensure that your online accounts are safe and hopefully this video will allow you to keep track of some of the current scams that are going around on LinkedIn. And with that said, if you've got comments or questions about scams that you may have to or worry about on LinkedIn, leave them in the comment section below. Would love to hear from you and help you avoid some of those scams. Wherever you're watching this video, if you enjoyed it, be sure, as I rub my chin, to like and comment and share with your friends. I know you've got people out there that need some technology tips to stay safe from all of the cyber threats out there. My goal with these videos and just overall is to open you up to a whole new world of experiences and ideas using your technology. I love technology and I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun and safe and easy to use for everyone. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile and 
thanks for watching